This is Pastor Julian with Central's Devotion for today. I hope you're doing well. Easter week. We are in the throes of Easter week right now. We just celebrated Palm Sunday. Tomorrow's Maundy Thursday. Then we have Good Friday. And then Saturday, the day of rest, followed by Resurrection Day, Easter. We celebrate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, resurrection from the grave. That he is alive. He is not dead. But so much happens during Easter week that we remember and celebrate. Because our Lord and Savior suffered on our behalf. He suffered God's wrath. And he suffered that in obedience to the Father in heaven and out of his love for us. Out of his love for us. I'm going to read to you from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, verse 41 to 44. This is what it says. And, and just to give you a little bit of background, this is following the Last Supper. Judas is already gone. Jesus is going to be betrayed into the hands of the, the, the chief priests, guards, and taken away and be tried. Um, this is before, right before that, Jesus is praying. He takes uh, a couple of his disciples with him and goes out, and he, and he goes to pray and prepare. So this is what it, what it says. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw and knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. And there appeared to him an angel from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Jesus, knowing what was before him, of course, asked the Father for that cup to be taken from him because there is no one in their right mind that would want to drink from the cup of God's wrath. And Jesus had received that cup on our behalf so that he could forgive our sins and take our sins upon him that, that they might be atoned for by the perfect sacrifice of his life. And he's about to go through some incredible suffering, some immense suffering. Uh, and we, we, during the Tenebrae service, which we will be celebrating tomorrow night and worshiping God, we reflect upon that suffering that Jesus is enduring. And we call it the tenebrae service or the service of shadows. There is the shadow of betrayal. There is the shadow of inner agony. The shadow of loneliness. The shadow of desertion. The shadow of accusation. The shadow of crucifixion. And the shadow of death. And all of these uh, shadows help us to, um, to understand and reflect upon the great sacrifice that God made for us. Not just Jesus, who endured those things on his own, but also the Father. Because we are all uh, understanding that the Father in heaven took no pleasure in watching his son suffer. Jesus loves you and cares about you so much that he's willing to go through all of that to bring you back to him so that you could live with him forever in paradise, united in where you should be in your real home. Praise the Lord. I want to encourage you to join us for our Tenebrae service tomorrow night at Central Schwenkfelder. And you can watch it uh, on Facebook or YouTube. You could attend virtually that way. It's at 7.30 
p.m. And I will be giving the message for that, but you're going to hear from me and the other pastors, Pastor David and uh, Pastor Drake, and they are going to be sharing as well. So I hope to uh, I hope that you can make it, and that it will bless your Easter week and bring her, bring you into an even greater communion with God during the end of this Lenten season. God bless you, and have a great day.